Hi, this is uh, Jim Calarino. I've got um, muscle twitching that's occurring all throughout my body, plus uh, neuralgia. Uh, I'm looking up the reasons, medical reasons, why these things occur. And uh, one of them is ALS, which is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And that used to be... Uh, uh, known as Lou Gehrig's disease. I'm 40 years old. It usually symptoms usually appear, according to this website, they don't develop until after the age 50. Um, some of some of these things appear to be like um, occurring with me breathing or swallowing muscles. Be maybe the first muscles affected, and I'm don't really know about that. Um, it, it seemingly uh, it is it does occur upon me as I sleep. Uh, that's something that I have uh, from time to time. That's something that I had labeled it, uh, thought of as um, central sleep apnea. Um, new sort of cures that are that are coming out that have come out for ALS includes lithium, the the anti Depressant lithium. Um, it's it, another website I, that I had looked at previously said this was very um, beneficial for people with ALS. People with ALS um, usually die within three to five years of diagnosis. Only 25% of patients survive more than five years after diagnosis. 10% of these, uh, those that have this genetic defect, are, it's, it's caused by a genetic defect. Um, it's a very rare disease, I guess. Five out of a hundred thousand have it. If you look at Onondaga County, that would put it at about 23 people in Onondaga County. With uh, that's the county that I live in, in upstate New York. One of the reasons I think why it would be so rare is because death occurs within three to five years of diagnosis. That would be an actual reason why, because uh, once you're diagnosed with it, you don't really live very long, and then you're not counted amongst the populace as one of the people that have it. So that would be one of the reasons why it would be seen as rare. Now, my psychiatrist, uh, Dr. Amenta, uh, she said that she has met someone and who passed away who uh, has had ALS and that that was not what I had. Um, kind of nervous that that might have been the reason for my problems and um, the fact that I was in the Persian Gulf War. There's higher incidences of um, Operation Iraq and Freedom or whatever. Uh, yeah. There's a higher incidence of, uh, of this amongst uh, those that were in the war that I was in, the war that I was in. Um, I don't know, when, when you start getting into this area, things get pretty scary sometimes. When these things are occurring upon you, you really, a person should not be given fraudulent medicine and junk passing itself off as truth when it's not. I did a video where I put all capital letters in an exclamation point indicating it's not true. Um, 
uh, videotape of myself and uh, posted it on YouTube. And yeah, I got I got a sort of um, a little bit of a slight kick out of it. Hey, look, I'm I'm doing a joke like everyone else. It's really enticing. No. To be able to, to think that you're playing a joke or, or a prank on someone and, and actually doing it. Now I, I'm I'm incapable of doing that because of uh, the position that I'm in, where all of you have omniscience of over my of me and my thoughts. That doesn't prevent any of you from doing it upon me. I had a friend, um, maybe half a friend, I don't know, that um, refrained really from doing that sort of thing. He just said, Jim, it's just too too easy. And I think he was right. It's just too easy to, to you know, do a joke on me, to pull a prank upon me. No, it doesn't stop, um, that doesn't stop uh, people of low moral character from perpetually and continually doing this. Now, uh, I've always believed that this is done with the graces of the Almighty who hates me. I've thought that since second grade and it appears nothing's really changed with the guts that he, uh, he gave me a sentience, consciousness, and life. And then decided that I would become the world's most vulnerable creature. And everyone was allowed to do all sorts of evil, hateful things upon me and they have throughout my whole life. And there is no karma. And there is no punitive God upon the, the people doing this to me. Yet there is a punitive God upon me, as far as I can see. Me and me alone. But are other people doing bad things to me? No. Um, there's no punitive measures. In fact, they probably get rewarded by God. Uh -huh. And that is my life. That's not your life. Don't pretend that it is because it's not. That's my life. And you are not me. 